Well, diversification, diversification. That's what we're going to talk about today. We are, and it's and if you at the beginning of the of the series, we're gonna we're gonna hit on what you think we're hitting on, but at the end, we twist it up. So you want to stay to the end. So stick around, check this out. It's a great one. And when we say diversification, we're talking about investments. We're talking about your life. We're talking about some cool stuff. Well, good day to you, Steve. Hey, Steve. How are you? You know, I'm really, it's, uh, I'm pretty hot, actually. (laughs) Uh, uh, And I don't mean hot, like, of course, my wife probably thinks, okay, let's leave that alone. But it's hot here. You know where I am? Uh, You know what's behind me? What's behind you on your your screen there? Yeah, we probably should talk before I say that. What, What is this? What are we doing? What is this? This welcome to the Steve and Steve show. I'm Steve Wastenberg. And I'm Steve Walsh. And we sure do thank all of you for being here. Right? Uh, yeah. Subscribe. That's right. Hit hit the subscribe button and, and hit the bell for notifications. Make sure you do have a if you do enjoy or if we strike a chord someplace and add a comment below so we can get some interaction. Certainly would like that. So uh, Steve, we, I know, I don't think you, I think earlier you said you didn't have a drink, but I, I don't, I, I don't, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to enjoy an iced tea I picked up on the way home. <laughs> You're I've got an empty bottle here. Gotcha. Um, and, and I want to apologize in advance that I'm probably going to be coming in and out here. Uh, the background that you see there is Machu Picchu in, in just outside of Cusco, Peru in the, uh, right above the Sacred Valley where the, um, uh, and I'm not there, but I am actually, when we're recording this, of course, I'm actually in Peru. And so I don't right now have the most incredible connection. So if I'm popping in and out, I again, apologize in advance, uh, in advance for that. So, yeah, well, we'll, we'll, we're raw, right? Yep. We'll do, we'll do the best we can. And maybe people are just listening. <laughs> There we go. It's the message, not how it looks. <laughs> it is the message, yeah. And, you know, that's that's exactly right. So um, what is the message today? Yep. So, so today's topic is diversification. Diversification. Hmm. So do you mean like diversity? Uh, like diversify? No. Diversify your investments, right? Or... Yep. Well, yeah, you, that, that's the topic, right? So as, as yeah, always, it could go anywhere. It go, it can go anywhere by the end of this. So if, the, if you really want to know where it goes, you want to stick around to the end. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. So, um, well, so, um, so what, let me ask you, Steve, in your portfolio, when you invest in whatever you're doing financially, what kind of diversification do you have? And just so that the audience knows what do we actually mean with diversification? Yeah, good, good question. Um, when I when I hear diversification, to me, it's having uh, well, in an investment side, having a variety of investments and not so much in the same grouping uh, or same sector, right? So you're looking at like just plain stocks, you can diversify within the stock family, right? And have maybe uh, utility companies versus a manufacturer or a mining company. So there's a lot of different sectors you could get into and that by right. using different sectors, you can diversify. Um, and then there's, you know, like blue chip stocks versus, you know, more, more startup type, uh, stocks that that are right so so things that are more aggressive less aggressive or moderate i mean i know in a lot of people um who in the investment world uh, who are just you know generally put their money into a 401k or or maybe an ira they'll throw it into some sort of a fund that might be an aggressive fund that has this set of stocks you know in it might be an overseas fund that is 
you know, got a bigger return, but a lot more risk. And then they'll kind of diversify their portfolio with some more moderate and then some more conservative things so that they're, quote, diversified. But I don't think you and I are talking that kind of diversification. No, no. So and I, and I, the way I, you know, I think the way you and I are thinking about the diversification is not so much within one category, but a variety of where, you know, the things that we do. Um, you know, we've, we've had topics about stock options you know, we've had topics, um, well, we really haven't dr drove, dove into the real estate side, but we got talked to about it a few, right? And so I think folks know that that real estate is is um, an area that both you and I have, have a big interest in, um, you know, and, and so for me, um, my, my perspective, I have... So I have some precious metals that I've invested in. Oh, so that's kind of, great. You know, so kind of, kind of holding there. It's not, I don't look at it as like a, as a big um, winner type or, a, you know, I don't, I don't expect it to go up really fast. Right. It's, it's, it's a protection. So it's a small amount of my portfolio and it's a protection of wealth. So. And when you say precious metals, metals, you mean silver, gold, Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, so like right now, silver actually it could be an interesting play. It could be something that a lot of people talk about silver being the one that might move faster because it's a lot easier to get into with some quantity at what is it, 27 a, 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 a ounce now, or is it more than that somewhere? It, it, uh, yeah, it's 20, I think today it was like at 26, 27 dollars an ounce. Okay. Um, but what's, is, what's, what's interesting yeah. about silver? is that the ratio um, for from silver to gold is that that ratio has been expanding so i don't know in the early 1900s the ratio was like one one mm -hmm. silver to 14 gold you know if you want okay. to use it now it's like one um one gold and the ratio goes up to like 40 or 50 ratio so so it's been expanding right so they've been kind of they have they generally kind of follow the same ups and downs <clears throat> as we go along but over time they've kind of expanded out and that's not a normal ratio so there's something definitely something going on with the silver market that's has forced it to separate from gold a little bit more and so with that said, it might be a little more speculative, but it also is likely to move if it moves a lot Correct. quicker. Correct. And that and the in the concept of like when when um, in the 70s or 60s and the 70s when Vietnam was going on, right? There there was um, when the, the economy started to turn people went to went to the golds and silvers, right? So if, if the economy turns, we're gonna see people go to gold and silver, probably okay. crypto too, right? So, but when when they do that, then that's that causes a demand and then the price is gonna go up. Right. With gold may go up a certain percentage, but silver, could go up a lot more percentage wise because of that of that split that we had over over time right and, it, and it's more affordable for people right you know, gold was like uh, i want to say 1800 yeah somewhere in almost a 2000 yeah. yeah so you have, you basically have to have two thousand dollars to get an ounce of gold right where silver you got you know thirty dollars and you got an ounce of, of silver right so and so then silver goes to a hundred dollars you know Gold has to move a lot quicker uh, for you to get a kind of a, a, a multiple on your investment, whereas right. with silver, the likelihood of it is is uh, a lot more. So that's a great diversification. So you've talked about real estate. You've got yeah. real estate. Yeah. yeah. And then you have not, not only the, the house that we live in, but, um, you know, some investments for real estate. So, you know, then you know, everyone talks about the different, they talk about the different bubbles, right? You got the the uh, well, precious metals bubbles, and you got the gold or uh, the uh, real estate bubbles, and you got stock market bubbles, and so 
when we look at diversification, where, you know, you, you try to try to position yourself so that if, if a bubble pops, it's not your entire portfolio. Absolutely. Um, and in this day and age, with the way the world is, and frankly, some of the insanity around it, you know, I think that diversification is even more important, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So what if we ended up getting some sort of a, a, a government that really leaned hard, hard left, and then private property is a potentially dangerous thing? But maybe something like cryptocurrency is kind of in vogue for that same group. So if you've got cryptocurrency, if you've got some silver and some gold, you've got some property, um, um, you're going to be diversified. I think today in this day and age, diversification in investments is even more important than it used to be by mm -hmm. far. Yeah. Yeah. I would say also that the opportunities for diversification are manifold, are a lot more than you could get in the past. So um, speaking of crypto, that, you know, we talk about silver and gold. Silver and gold really stand as a kind of a store of value. We've talked in other videos about right. how the fiat dollar. Right. Gold, gold, kind of gold and silver are, are real money. Real money. Real money. It, it fits the definition of real money. Where the you know what we use for U.S. dollars, it's a Federal Reserve. It's a it's an IOU. It's currency. It's not real money. <clears throat> and and that's that's most currencies, right? Are 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 like that. They're not real money. There's no store value. If you if you stick thirty dollars, thirty paper dollars, U.S. dollars in in the uh, in the dirt, yeah. in, the area, in the dirt, right? And then you take a 20 ounce, or not 20 ounce, a, a one ounce coin of silver, which is pretty close to $30 right now, stick it in the ground, right? In 20 years, you dig those up, which one's going to be worth anything? Right. Right. I mean, we can already show it, right? We can already show it 20 years ago, what that dollar would be that you pull out of the ground and what that silver coin would be. Right. Well, most likely, though, if you just take those paper dollars in the ground, you bury them, they're going to dissolve. So, right. <laughs> we'll, so we'll that's, throw that's part of the definition is durability. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Um, uh, so along those lines, you've got something like Bitcoin, which is argued by people like you and I and many others, but it's still a pretty small group getting bigger, um, as a very solid store of value, very similar to gold and far more transportable than gold, far easily easier to transport than gold, say. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. And far more accessible to many more people in the world than gold is. Um, Okay, so so real estate. By the way, it's crazy that we haven't talked about real estate and other things because my my background, you know, in the technology world has been in real estate software. Yeah. How, how many how many years is that? Oh my lord, yeah, a lot. It's you know, <laughs> 25, 25 years or so. Um, your background is in real estate investment for at least that many years, right? Uh, well, I, I grew up in a real estate family. Yeah, so right. even so longer. 40, 40 yeah. years, 40 some years yeah. of real estate. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so yes, we definitely should be having more real estate. We will have another con. We have to have that. But that is also also a, 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 a solid um would you say it's a store of value, real estate? Um it it can be. I don't know if I mean it's yeah, I guess it is a, it could be a store of value, right? Uh, um, I think Kiyosaki would argue with us and say, look, you can't count on that being a store of value. What you certainly can count on it being, if you've got rental properties, is a revenue producer. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, there's, so there's different aspects of it, but, you know, as far as real estate, you know, it's, it's certainly not money. It doesn't fall in the, in the category of money if that's where you're going with store of value. Yeah. Um, now, you know, it goes up and down, right? Yep. We, we've seen that in our lifetime where in, in uh, 2008, 
the yep. real estate market just fell through the floor. And but over a long period of time, real estate has been a solid investment. Without a doubt. So, I mean, I have you, a very go ahead. Well, if you, if you go go to the Fortune 500 or 1,000, you know, whatever the number you want to pick off the Fortune 500 list, right? Well, Fortune, <laughs> but if you go look at those lists and you just go down the top top people and see what they where they made their money, a good portion of them are going to show up as they made their money in real estate. Right. No, you're absolutely right. So, and um, you, you just I don't know if you saw it, um, Bill Gates. Yeah, he's buying up all the farms or something. Yeah, he's like the the biggest private farmland owner in the United States now. The heck is that? Dude, that's a whole nother story. It is, but if you think about it, he's putting his money into real estate. Yeah. Right? So the one one thing that uh, one thing about real estate that you can count on for investment is they're not making any more of it. No, that that's a that's a <laughs> absolute true. There is a scarcity, if you will, on that. And in terms of real estate, and in terms of going up, I've got one of those shoulda, woulda, coulda stories right here in Lima, Peru. Back in two thousand seven, I was here, and the market had already started to fall apart here in in Peru. And I could have got a condo here for a ridiculous price that would have been a 600% gain over the the years since then. Uh, um, uh, and uh, and the stupid thing is uh, we actually had the ability to do it because we had just done a deal where we had a little bit of liquidity and could have got one of these and and uh, we didn't pull the trigger on it. So yeah. So real estate is and, and and of course that whole time we probably could have been renting that to create cash flow and it would have shown as an appreciating right. asset. Well, and the, the thing the thing about real estate is a lot of people think to to invest in real estate you have to be a landlord and, and deal with toilets at two a.m. in the morning, right? And that's that is not true. No, you're right. You, you, Tell you, us you why. Can, yeah, you can be that guy and you know manage your own properties. And when it does have that issue at two in the morning, you can be the guy that answers the phone. That's up to you. But it doesn't have to be that way. You can have a property management company in there, uh, but there are so many ways. There, and, I, and I'll have to sit down for one of our next shows and, and you know we see how many ways we can we can do money, make money, invest in real estate. That's that's yeah. Hey, so what you're saying is right within real estate, there is diversification. Exactly of yeah. investment. Yeah, just just yeah. quick thinking about that. Right, there's single family homes. There's multifamily, like apartment complexes, right? And then you got commercial property. Right. Just just quick, quickly looking at it from that standpoint, there's three three different areas right there that, that investors will focus in on. They, you know, in, in some cases, you'll find investors who who do um, who do a little bit of all, of everything. Um, actually, I was just as I was talking there, I remember that I have a friend. All he does is land. He, he he buys land and flips it. Buys land and flips it. Oh wow! That's all wow. he does. So there's no toilets for him. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> well, and so you know that same kind of diversity is in something like equities markets. You know, you've got forex currency type markets. You've got futures for commodities. You've got stocks and bonds. You've got options trading, which are parts of derivatives. Um, so there's a bunch of diversity right within in the stock market area. There's yeah. diversity yeah. within the cryptocurrency market, which is kind of a new kind of deal. So you got Bitcoin, of course, the one you really think about, you know, that's got all the popularity. But then there's a whole bunch of other tokens and and assets and coins and current. I mean, it's like. There's like I think there's like five thousand right now in the in the crypto world that that has so yeah. again another point of diversity. Um, what's another thing that you can we can invest in that you know might give us? So those are kind of three broad segments. Well, as you as you were talking there, I was thinking where does where does like uh, maybe it's the futures, but like cattle or the or yeah. the crops. 
Where yeah, that's work? all. That's in the futures world. That's so the that's futures, okay. Futures and commodities, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, so you know, somebody learning about diversification, I think, really needs to take into account a true diversification of their investments, as opposed to just hearing that, well, here's your mutual funds and here's your exchange traded fund and you want to get this aggressive one and you want to, and like this kind of simple, tiny little world of diversification within my, within the book that I wrote, I talk about the diversification of getting many stocks and owning many of them. And the whole idea behind it is spreading out that risk but also spreading out the possibilities of an incredible win somewhere down the road on it. Yeah. So the more diversified you are, the more you offset risk that is, you know, this thing starts to go, but this one takes over. I'll give you a quick example. I've got in my portfolio right now of options and and just in my stock kind of thing, um, I've got a pretty large group that I've built up along the property trading strategy of stocks. And one stock inevitably starts to really go down. And I am surprised just about every day by another stock in there that starts going through the roof and either offsets or blows it out of the water. And I, and my, and my portfolio there in just that little group, it continues to grow, continues to gain, you know, um, but there's got to be other. What are other investments? We got to well, wrap it up. So, so I, th- I think, um, and I don't know if where, where you're trying to lead me, but, uh, <laughs> but one one of the things that I think you know, we, you and I, I mean, we we look at the, you know, we're talking financial IQ right now, right, right, and so it, we encourage people to to expand their financial IQ. We hope that our shows are helping with that. But what are the other areas that we diversify within our lives to expand the different IQs? Yeah, right? there's the there's the emotional IQ. So what you know what where do you how do you diversify into that? Um, there, that mastermind that you run. Yeah, I mean, ma- I mean that's mind. massive. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a weekly thing that we do that is different people speaking about their wins and what they, and every single week we get a new boost or a new idea somewhere because of that mastermind. Yeah. Yeah. Um, What about in the spiritual life? You and I have, we've talked about Exodus 90 and what we did with that and how much we're still in touch with the, the, the people that we've gone through on that very, you know, um, uh, deep kind of spiritual journey, and that's a diversification. Yeah, yeah. So you're build, building that, um, you know, that muscle, right? So the financial muscle, the emotional muscle, the spiritual muscle. Um, you can you can go into, you know, uh, health, right? Yeah, that one I need to diversify more. I, <laughs> my problem with that one is food, and I think yeah. I need to get but, you know. Stuff focusing on food <laughs> well it's it, 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 that it, well there's more to that right than just food <laughs> it, there's there's you know what you do on a regular basis your habits around health uh, but but learning that that's that's part of the the iq around health and fitness learning yeah. what, what works for you um, and we and we talked about emotional so you remember emotional iq falls in line with what you do on a regular day, basis so how you treat money, your finance, your your emotional IQ will affect your financial IQ. Your emotional IQ yep. will, will affect your spiritual IQ. Your spiritual IQ will affect your emotional IQ. Absolutely. So it's all intertwined. So we have to we have to take those slivers and focus on them. And and I and, and so I want to go a little bit further on the different areas, right? There's there's one that I I like, and you're you're doing it right now. Is the travel IQ. Amen, brother. Right, Amen. that experience, going out there and experiencing different cultures, different worlds. Um, yeah. I, what's interesting, we you know we we frequent Cancun quite a bit, but every time we we look at vacations, we the only reason we go back to Cancun is because it's, it's affordable. But we yeah. do go to different parts of Cancun, so it's kind of like a diversification with inside Cancun. But we'd like we'd like to go other places too, so we'll try to go. To I've got an idea. 
<laughs> of where you could go. Where Peru is pretty inexpensive. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we definitely we, we definitely want to go down there. <clears throat> but so there's there's that right, and then you know what what other places. So this is where people can get can get creative. You know, they're right and, and explore different parts of their lives and how they they can diversify their lives a little bit. So look at, you know, one one area that that um, we both are working on is we talked about financial IQ and diversification within that. But what's what do we do for um, income? <coughs> the di- diversifications around income, right? So. Right. Not just investments or real estate, but what do what do we do, you know, um, for for other other types of income? So, right, we can go consult, we can coach, right? We can go do some training, we can go take yeah. a job. I mean, there's a whole lot of things you could do to diversify right. a little bit and get a little bit of ex- different experiences. But truthfully, the idea of financial freedom, right, of doing, of, of learning enough of this, increasing your financial IQ enough, diversifying over a broad spectrum of things, it starts to be kind of like, you know, uh, high tide lifts all boats, right? And you start to get to the point where, you know, in my case right now, I, I mean, I'm still working. I don't, my boss, I like my boss a lot. It's, it's right here. And, um, but I'm still working. Uh, every single day while I'm here in Peru. Um, but there's this kind of freedom because you and I have done what we've done with our financial IQ and continue to in- increase it to be able to give us that diversity of lifestyle to, as well. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, but it's, but it goes down, it goes down to that. Right. I mean, like it's, it's that, if you're doing the same thing over and over and over, you're not, you're not living. You're existing. No, you're exactly right. Right. We have Wake here when, when we have dinner, um, our, our son, Alex, he, when he makes dinner, it's, we call it boring chicken. <laughs> it's, it's a say like at least once a week, maybe twice a week, we have chicken, green beans and rice. Right. And, and so I was like, this is, it's boring chicken. So it's like, okay, what, what flavor sauce can I put on this stuff? <laughs> boring chicken night. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. That's so, funny. But it, but it, you know, you switch it up, right? You gotta, you gotta go and find different dishes that try different sauces or different side dishes and, and, and throw it up. So you gotta look at that. And, and I think there's a lot of people that could get stuck. They get stuck in their routines, right? Yeah, they, totally they get up, right. they make their coffee, they get in the car. They instead of instead of taking a new route to work, they take the same route. Absolutely. Stop at the same places. Everything's by habit, and they don't explore out, and therefore they they could be life could be passing by them, and they wouldn't even know it. So, all right, we're, we're well down to, this is one of our longer videos. <laughs> I want to, I want to end it with folks, get out there and do what Steve said uh, many videos ago, ago, you can do something right now and do a little vision quest, you know, yeah. get out there. If you are in the rut of the same thing, go and switch it up. Just one thing this week, go and switch up the way you drive, uh, go completely different route go a completely different route this time i mean completely different plan for it if it's going to take a little longer and see what comes out of that that's the beginning of diversification would you agree yeah. yep definitely definitely so well we better let these folks uh get on to another whatever they're doing here um they're they're being entertained by the greatest they are being entertained. <laughs> and all right that- well, if you are being entertained, please tell everybody about this. Let everybody know. Let's get this thing moving into uh, a lot more of an audience, a diversified audience, if you will. That's right. So go go, uh, go on a vision quest, do some diversification. But most importantly, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for notification, hit the like button as well, the thumbs up. Smash and if, if you've been uh, wanting to comment and give us some feedback, We'd love to hear from you. Yeah, we would. 
It would. So, all, all right, right Steve, if you can do hold the virtual right. cup or something, but we can say uh, cheers. Cheers. I've got a Colorado cup here. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. Hold it in front of your chest. There, there you go. That's the bottle. Of it. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everyone. Until next time. All right.